All right, you see this forested hillside here? I want you to imagine a wildfire approaching the hill from the base. Now, as the wildfire burns its way up the hill, which side of these trees would you expect to be more severely damaged? Or more specifically, after the fire's passed, would you be more likely to see charcoal and scarring on the uphill side of these trees or the downhill side? Now, if you answered like me the first time I heard this question, you'd say the downhill side. It makes sense, right? As the fire comes up the hill, it's gonna start pressing right into the downhill side of the trees. But guess what? It is way more likely that you'd find significant damage on the uphill side of these trees. Why? Well, I bet you we'll find out if we throw this stick down the hill. See, there's our answer. Let's get a little closer and you'll see what I mean. So check it, see how this stick isn't the only thing caught on the trunk here? We got a whole pile of stuff, leaves, acorns, whatever. Now compare that to the downhill side of the tree and we'll see that there's not much there. Pretty much everything that comes rolling down the hill in this direction is just gonna get stuck against the uphill side of the trunk. Here, I'll show you a couple more trees in the area too. Not much down here, big pile up here. Mostly bare on the downhill, ton of crap on the uphill. So by now, I'm sure you can guess why the uphill side of the tree is way more likely to be burned. As everyone knows, fire needs fuel. And while there's not much for the fire to eat up down here, there is a big pocket of stuff on the uphill side for the fire to chew on. So when our little wildfire starts making its way up the hill, it's gonna rip right through the modest amount of fuel on the downhill side pretty quickly, but really make itself at home among all that stuff on the uphill side, giving the flames a lot more fuel and a lot more time to do some real damage to the trunk of the tree.